What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I want to talk a little bit about flags. Now I've done a couple of videos where I've discussed flags before, but um, there will be scenarios that you may run into where you don't realize that because you have altered the state of a flag from a previous instruction uh, when you're writing a cheat that it can cause unwanted behavior like your game to crash or maybe your script doesn't work and you can't figure out why so I ran into this scenario in Dragon's Dogma way back whenever I was first uh, hacking it and I've wanted to do this video for a while finally getting around to it so the first thing that I want to show you is the way this game works is you have damage you take from health and then you have damage you take from status effects like being on fire so um, I found what I needed to find um, for whenever I'm on fire so I'll let that hit and I'll go stand in this fire over here and you see that I start losing health, right? That's normal. Okay. So I found what I needed to find related to health and that status effect. So I'm going to enable the cheat that should give me infinite health and not let that status effect damage me. All right. So what happened here is I died and my buddy over there died. So it was taking my health to zero. So why, why was that not working? So I kept going back over here and walking into the fire and dying over and over again. And um, I found that what I needed to do here was uh, part of the issue was this is the cheat right here for the status effects. This is what I wrote. All right. So the problem was I was doing a compare. And if you know what you're looking at here, you already see where this is going. But I did a compare that was necessary to discern my health from like enemy and item health and stuff like that. So it would do the compare to check what I wanted it to check for. And if it wasn't what I wanted, it would jump to the original instruction. If it was what I wanted, then I would push uh, EBX and then I would put max health into EBX and then I would move that into my current health so that essentially the effect is infinite health right well this compare here was actually messing with a previous compare and I'll show you what I mean by that so I'm gonna take this AOB signature here I'm gonna search for it And it didn't find it because I need to check this to be read and write for scan. Okay. So I'm going to disassemble this memory region, and here we are. So here's the instruction. So when I enable the script here, watch what happens. All right. It makes my jump, and then we can follow that. And it goes through, and it does what I want it to do. The compare, blah, 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 ends up going back. So... The problem, however, I'm going to disable the script. The problem is I do the compare, and that sets the flags. Okay, it sets the zero flag one way or the other. Now, this next instruction, jump short if below slash carry. This instruction is dependent upon the state of the zero flag. So if for this instruction, I do my own compare and it's not a result that this instruction would typically be expecting the result that I'm getting in the game is that every time I catch on fire I just die instantly okay so here's the deal right here here's a compare alright and you can read what it is here you don't have to worry about it at the moment you can look it up in Google if you want but basically this compare does what it does and it sets E flags. So the zero flag is being set. Something here is being set. Okay. A value is being moved from XMM1 into here. And then this takes place or not depending on this instruction. Because this one didn't modify any flags. This one did. So you get to this instruction but the flags stay the same from this carries on to here well 
we've got this compare but then right here is where my instruction is going and I put my own compare so I'm screwing up this compare and obviously with what I'm doing it's switching the state of it from what I need it to be and my health just goes to zero so what are we getting at here All right. basically what I'm saying is push F pop F okay push F will push the state of your flags uh, the E flags register it's R flags on 64 bit but you don't have to worry about any of that because uh, the higher bits of the 64 bit R flags register aren't even like used so push F pop F you push the state of your flags you pop them whenever it's done back to their original state so with push F pop F all right push the state of the flags I do the compare I want to do so right here I've preserved this compare I've preserved the state of the flags from this compare I do my compare I have it branch depending on the result and then if it carries through here then what happens is it pops the state of the flags before it does anything else that I want it to do all right if this jump did happen then whenever it gets to right here this label right I pop F so either way whichever way it goes I'm restoring the flags before I do anything else so I'm preserving the state of this com ISS instruction so now that I have that I uncommented out the push and pop F I'm going to re-enable it go back into the game get into the same scenario here I'm gonna go stand in the fire and we see that I'm not dying I'm not losing any health I'm good to go so I can walk around be on fire and my comparison does a lot of different things basically it's you don't need to really worry about it but um, long story short if you find yourself in a situation where it seems like your cheat should be working and it's not and you can't quite figure it out you know there's a ton of things to look for <laughs> so I've got to where I keep a list of this stuff sometimes so I can just go down that list but this is one of them if you've done a compare in your script at some point like this right and your instruction sits between a previous comparison and then a jump or something that's depending on this one your compare might be screwing that up and if that happens that can screw your cheat up so yeah that's that uh, I'm gonna link to a video where I talk more in depth about flags if you don't know what that is um, but anyway got more videos coming up soon so just wanted to throw this one out there I appreciate you watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet and I'll see you all in the next video take care